Hello guys, Assalamu Alaikum. I am Kaleem Khan and you are watching our YouTube channel Kaleem TV One. So if you are new on the our YouTube channel Kaleem TV One, so subscribe our channel Kaleem TV One and press the bell icon for more informative videos. In this video, we shall provide information about Canada. Now we start video. Now geography of the Canada. Canada has a vast geography that occupies much of the continent of North America, uh, sharing a land border with the contiguous United States to the west and the U.S. State of Alaska. To the northwest, Canada stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west. To the north lies the Arctic Ocean. Greenland is to the northeast with a sharing shared border on the Hans Island. Hans Island. To the southeast, Canada shares a maritime boundary with the France oversee collectively of the Saint Pierre and Miquelon, the last vestige of New France. By total area, including its waters. Canada is the second largest country in the world after Russia. By land area alone, however, Canada ranks fourth. The difference being due to its having the world's largest proportion of fresh water lakes of Canada's. 13 provinces and territories, only two are landlocked, Alberta and Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, while the other 11 are directly border of one of three oceans. Canada is home to the world's northernmost settlement. Canadian Forces Station Alert on the northern tip of Ellesmere Island, latitude 82.5 degree north, which lies 817 kilometers 508 miles from the North Pole. Much of the Canadian Arctic is covered by ice and permafrost. Permafrost. Canada has the longest coastline in the world with a total length of 243,042 kilometers and 151,019 miles. Additionally, Additionally, its border with the United States is the world's longest land border, stretching 8,891 kilometers. Three of Canadians, Canada's Arctic Island, Baffin Island, Victoria Island, and Ellesmere Island are among the 10 largest in the world. 
कनेडा कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू सेवन फिजियोग्राफिक रीजन्स द कनेडियन शील्ड द इंटीरियर प्लेन्स द ग्रेट लेक्स सेंट लॉरेंस लोलैंड्स द एपेलशियन रीजन द वेस्टर्न कॉर्डी लेरा कॉर्डी लेरा हर्सन बे लोलैंड्स and the arctic archipelago canada is also divided into 15 terrestrial and 5 marine eco zone in compassing or 80000 classified species of life are uh, since the end of the last glacial period canada has consisted of eight distinct forest region are uh, including extensive boreal forest on the canadian shield 42% of the land acreage of the canada is covered by forests approximately 8% of the world forested land are uh, made up mostly of spruce poplar and pine canada has over 2 million lakes 530 63 greater than 100 square kilometers 39 square miles which is more than any other country containing much of the world fresh water there are also fresh water glaciers in the canadian rockies the coast mountains and the arctic cordillera canada is the geologically active having many earth quakes and potentially active volcanoes notably the mount meager massif mount gary baldy gary baldy mount kelly and the mount itziza mount itziza volcanic complex now bio geography canada is divided into 15 major terrestrial and five marine eco zones that are further subdivided into 53 eco provinces 194 eco regions and 1027 eco districts these eco areas encompass over 80000 classified species of canadian wildlife are uh, with an equal number yet to be formally recognized or discovered due to pollution loss of biodiversity our exploitation of commercial species invasive species and habitat loss there are currently more than 800 wildlife species at risk of being lost canada's major biomes are the tundra boreal forest grassland and temperate deciduous forest british columbia contains several smaller biomes including mountain forest which extends to alberta alberta and a small temperate rainforest along the pacific coast the semi arid desert located in the okanagan okanagan and alpine tundra in the higher mountainous region our half of canada's landscape is intact and relatively free of human development approximately half of canada is covered by a forest totaling around 2.4 million square kilometers 
1.93 million square miles. The boreal forest of Canada is considered to be the largest intact forest on the earth with around 300,000 square kilometers undisturbed undisturbed by roads cities or industry the canadian arctic tundra is the second largest vegetation region in the country consisting of dwarf shrubs sedges and grasses mosses and lichens now hydrography canada holds waste reserves of water its rivers discharge nearly seven percent of the world's renewable water supply canada has over two million lakes 563 greater than 100 square kilometers 39 square miles which is more than any other country and has the third largest amount of glacier water. Canada is also home to about 25% of the world's wetlands. Others support a vast array of local ecosystems. Canada's waterways host 47 rivers of at least 600 square kilometers 230 square miles in the length with the two longest being the Mackenzie River Mackenzie River that begins at Great Slave Lake and ends in the Arctic Ocean with its drainage basin covering a large part of the north western Canada and the St. Lawrence River which drains the Great Lakes into the Gulf of St. Lawrence ending in the Atlantic Ocean. The Mackenzie including its tributaries is over 4,200 square kilometers, 1,600 square miles in length and lies within the second largest drainage basin of north america while the saint lawrence 3058 square kilometers 1181 square miles in length drains the world's largest system of the freshwater lakes the atlantic watershed drains the entirely of the atlantic provinces a parts of the Quebec Labrador Labrador border are fixed at the Atlantic Ocean Arctic Ocean Continental Divide a most of inhabited Quebec and large parts of southern Ontario it is mostly drained by the eco economically economically important st lawrence river and its tributaries notably the sagone manicowagan sagone manicowagan and ottawa rivers the great lakes and lake nipigon lake nipigon are also drained by the st lawrence the Churchill River and St. John River are other important elements of the Atlantic watershed in Canada. The Hudson Bay watershed drains over a third of Canada. It covers Manitoba, Northern Ontario and Quebec, most of Saskatchewan, Southern Alberta. Southwestern Neon Watt, Neon Watt, and the southern half of Baffin Island. This basin is most important in fighting drought in the 
prairies, prairies and producing hydroelectricity, especially in Manitoba, northern Ontario and Quebec. A major elements of this watershed include Lake Winnipeg, Lake Winnipeg, Nelson River, the North Saskatchewan and South Saskatchewan rivers, Assini Boyne River, Assini Boyne River, and Natling Lakes, Natling Lake on Baffin Island. Wollaston Lake lies on the boundary between the Hudson Bay and Arctic Ocean. Watersheds and drain into both. It is the largest lake in the world that naturally drains into directions. The continental divide in the Rockies separates in Pacific watershed in British Columbia and Yukon from the Arctic and Hudson Bay watersheds. Uh, this watershed irrigates the agriculturally important area of inner British Columbia such as the Okanagan and Kootenay Valleys. Kootenay Valleys and is used to produce hydroelectricity. A major elements are the Yukon, Columbia and Fraser Rivers. Fraser Rivers, the north parts of Alberta, Manitoba and British Columbia, most of the northwest territories and neon Wat and parts of the Yukon air are drained by the Arctic watershed. This watershed has been little used for hydroelectricity or with the exception of the Mackenzie River. The peace at Beska, at Beska and Liard, Liard rivers as well as Great Bear Lakes and Great Slave Lakes respectively the largest and second largest lakes wholly enclosed by Canada are significant elements of the Arctic watershed. Each of these elements eventually merges with the Mackenzie, thereby draining the vast majority of the Arctic watershed. The southern most part of Alberta drains into the Gulf of Mexico through the Milk River and its tributaries. The Milk River originates in the Rocky Mountains of Montana, Montana, then flows into Alberta, then returns into the United States, where it is drained by the Missouri River, Missouri River, a small area of southwestern Saskatchewan is drained by Battle Creek, which empties into the Milk River. Now, physiography. Physiography. Canada. Canada covers 9,984,670 square kilometers. 3,855,100 square miles and a panoply of various, various geoclimatic, geoclimatic regions of which there are seven main regions. Canada also encompasses waste maritime terrain with the world's longest coastline of 243,042 kilometers. The physical, the physical geography of Canada's population. Now, mountains, Appalachian Mountains, Appalachian Mountains range extends from Alabama in southern United States through the Gaspi Pen Peninsula and the Atlantic provinces 
creating rolling hills intended by rivers valleys it also runs through parts of southern quebec the appalachian mountains more specifically the shikshok notre dam and long range mountains are an old and eroded range of mountains approximately 380 million years in age notable mountains in the appalachians include mount jacks Cartier, Jacques Cartier, Quebec, 1268 meter, are 4160 feet, Mount Carleton, Carleton, New Brunswick, New Brunswick, 817 meter, are 2680 feet, the Cabox, Cabox, Newfound Land, 814 meter are 2671 feet. Parts of the Appalachian are home to a rich endemic flora and fauna and are considered to have been neon takes during the last glaciation era. Glaciation era. Now, Great Lakes St. Lawrence Lowland. The Great Lakes St. Lawrence Lowlands or simply St. Lawrence Lowlands is a physiographic region of eastern Canada that comprises a section of southern Ontario are uh, bounded on the north by the Canadian Shield and by three of the Great Lakes, Lake Huron, Huron Lakes Erie and Lakes Ontario and extends along the St. Lawrence River to the Strait of Belle Isle and the Atlantic Ocean. The lowlands comprise three sub-regions that were created by intrusions from adjacent physiographic regions the west lowlands central lowland and east lowland the west lowland includes the niagara escarpment extending from the niagara river to the bruce peninsula and manitolin manitolin island the central lowland stretches between the Ottawa River and the St. Lawrence River. The east lowland includes Anticosti Island, double L E S D, Mingan, and extends to the Strait of Belle Isle. The St. Lawrence lowland is one of the most densely populated prosperous and productive productive regions in Canada. Our major urban areas include Quebec City, Montreal, Trois Rivers, Trois Rivers, Saint High Saint, Saint High Synth, Cornwall, Ontario, Brockville, Ottawa. Getty New and Pembroke. Pembroke. The lowland is in the traditional territories of the Mohawk and Algonquin, Algonquin and Iroquian, Iroquian peoples and the Cree. The Saint. Lawrence lowlands was covered by superficial deposits left by ice sheets following the Pleistocene 
प्लेस्टोसिन ग्लेशियशन इट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ कनेडा सेवन फिजियोग्राफिक रीजन द अदर बींग दर्कटिक लैंडस दॉर्डिलेरा टॉर्डिलेरा द इंटेरियर प्लेन्स द कनेडियन शील्ड द हर्सन बे लो लैंडस एंड द Appalachian updates uplands distinguished by topography and the geology geology the boundaries of the area largely reflect that of the a mixed wood plains eco zone the smallest of canada's 15 terrestrial eco zones now today Canadian Shield the northwestern part of the Alberta northern parts of Saskatchewan Manitoba Ontario and Quebec all of Labrador Labrador and the great northern pen peninsula of New Found Land eastern mainland northwest territories most of the known what mainland and of its arctic archipelago baffin island and significant bands through somerset south ampton devon devon and elsmere island are located on a vast rock base known as the canadian shield The shield mostly consists of eroded hilly terrain and contain many lakes and important rivers used for hydroelectric production particularly in northern Quebec and Ontario. The shield also includes an area of white land around the Hudson Bay. Some particular region of the shield are referred to as mountain ranges. including the tornat and laurentian mountain laurentian mountain the shield cannot support intensive agriculture although there is subsistence agriculture and small dairy small dairy farms in many of the river valleys and around the abundant lakes particularly in the southern regions boreal forest cover much of the shield with a mix of conifers that provide valuable timber resources in areas such as the central canadian shield forests eco region that covers much of northern ontario the canadian shield is known for its vast mineral reserves such as emeralds diamonds and copper and it they are also called the mineral house now canadian interior point the canadian prairies is a region in the western canada canada it includes the canadian portion of the great plains and the prairies province namely alberta saskatchewan and manitoba these provinces are partially covered by grassland plains and lowlands mostly in the southern region the northern most reaches of the canadian prairies are less dense in population marked by forests and more variable topography If the region is defined to include areas only covered by prairies land the corresponding region is known as the interior plains physical and ecological aspects of the canadian prairies extend to north eastern british columbia but that area is not included in political use of the term the prairies in canada are a temperate grassland and shrubland biome 
within the prairies ecoregion of Canada that consists of northern mixed grassland in Alberta, Saskatchewan, southern Manitoba, as well as northern short grassland in south eastern Alberta and southwestern Saskatchewan. The prairies ecozone of Canada includes the northern tall grassland in the southern Manitoba and Aspen Ma Park Parkland, which covers central Alberta, central Saskatchewan, and southern Manitoba. The prairies starts from north to of Edmonton and it covers the three province, provinces in southward slanting line east to the Manitoba Minnesota Minnesota border. The prairies is the most dominant land cover in Alberta and the least in Manitoba. A since boreal forest cover a large area of Manitoba. Alberta has the most land classified as prairie. Prairie. A while Manitoba has the least as the boreal forest begins more southerly in Manitoba than in Alberta. Now, Canadian Arctic. While the largest part of the Canadian Arctic is composed of seemingly endless permafrost and tundra north of the tree line, it encompasses geological region of varying types. The Arctic Cordillera within the British Empire range and the United States range on Elfsmere Island contains the northernmost mountain system in the world. The Arctic lowlands and Hudson Bay lowlands comprise a substantial, substantial part of the geographic region, often designated as the Canadian Shield. The ground in the Arctic is mostly composed of permafrost making construction difficult and often hazardous, hazardous and agriculture virtually impossible. The Arctic, when defined as everything north of the tree line, covers most of New Watch and the northernmost parts of the Northwest Territories. Yukon, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, and Labrador. Labrador. The Arctic Pelago consists of the 36,563 islands, of which 94 are classified as major islands, being larger than 130 square kilometers. Now, Western Cordillera. The coast mountains in British Columbia run from the lower Fraser River and the Fraser Canyon, northwestward, separating in the interior plateau from the Pacific Ocean. It's southeastern and is separated from the north. Cascades by the Fraser Lowland, where nearly a third of Western Canada's Canada's population rise reside. The coastal flank of the coast mountains is characterized by an intense network of fjords and associated islands very similar to the Norwegian coastline in Northern Europe. While their inland side transition to the high plateau, 
with Ryland valleys notable for a series of large alpine lakes similar to these those in southern Switzerland beginning in deep mountains and ending in flat land. They are subdivided in three main groups. The Pacific ranges between the Fraser River and Bella Kula. Bella Kula. The Kitimat ranges. Kitimat ranges from their northwards to the Ness River and the boundary ranges from there to the mountains terminus in Yukon at Champaign Pass, Champaign Pass and Chilkat Pass northwest of Hainaz, Hainaz, Alaska. The St. Elias Mountains lie to their west and northwest, while the Yukon ranges and Yukon Basin lie to their north. On the inland side of the boundary ranges are the Talton, Talton and Tagish Highlands and also Skina Mountains. Skina Mountains part of the interior mountain system which also extend southwards on the inland side of the Kitmat Ranges, the terrain of the main spine of the coast mountain is typified by heavy glaciation, including several very large ice fields of the varying elevation of the three subdivisions. The Pacific Ranges are the highest and are crowded by Mount Waddington, Waddington while the boundary ranges contain the largest ice field the Joniu Jonio fields being the largest the Kitmat ranges are lower and less glaciers covered than either of the other two groupings but are extremely rugged and dense the coast mountains are made of the igneous Igneous and metamorphic rock from an episode of arc volcanism related to subduction of the Ola and Paralon Paralon plates during the Laramite Erogni Laramite Erogni Orogni about 100 million years ago, the wild separate granite forming the coast mountain form when magma intruded, intruded and cold at depth beneath volcanoes of the coast range arc, whereas the metamorphic formed when intruding magma heated the surrounding rock to produce schist the insular insular mountains extend from vancouver island in the south to the queen charlotte queen charlotte islands in the north on the british columbia coast it contains two main mountain ranges the Vancouver Island ranges on Vancouver Island and the Queen Charlotte Mountain on the Queen Charlotte Islands. Now, Hudson Bay Lowlands. The Hudson Bay Lowlands is a vast wetland located between the Canadian Shield and southern shore of Hudson Bay and James Bay. Most of the area lies within the province of Ontario with smaller portion reaching into Manitoba and Quebec. Many wide and slow moving rivers flow through this area toward the salt water of Hudson Bay. These include the Churchill, Nelson and Hayes in Manitoba. Severn, Fawn, Venice, Ashwag, 
इकवान अटावा पिस्कट अटावा पिस्कट एंड एल्बनी एल्बनी इन एंटेरियो एंड दी हेरिकाना हेरिकाना रोपार्ट एंड ईस्ट मेन इन मे कोबेक दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट वेटलैंड इन कैनेडा एंड वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड द रीजन कैन बी सब डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री बैंड रनिंग रफली नॉर्थ वेस्ट टू साउथ ईस्ट द कोस्टल हडसन बे लो लैंड नैरो बैंड अलॉन्ग द नॉर्थर्न कोस्ट द हडसन बे लो लैंड ब्रॉडर बैंड एक्सटेंडिंग टू स्लाइटली साउथ ऑफ द इकवान रिवर and jams bay lowlands all the rest of the southern eastern island lands making up close to 50% of the total lowlands area the entire area was covered by ice during the last glaciation and the peat lands have accumulated over the last 10000 years plants from more temperate regions mix with arctic species a majority of the wetland is peat bog peat bog although salt marshes occur along the coast and marshes and wet meadows occur along the major rivers the wetlands provide important habitat for migratory birds including shore birds eg yellow rail and waterfowl eg snow geese large mammals include polar bears and wolverine wolverines now thanks for